everybody! It is all, it is me, it's Koryashi, your Pamsu friend. How is everybody doing? Hope you are well. Today we will be having a look at the deep quest and the astral shards and spheres that you can get from there. And Princess Knight enhancement, which is where you will be using these new astral pieces of equipment. So if we jump across here, we can see that the, the deep quest here is in the middle. We have got five stages in there, one for each of the elemental types. If you do each stage 10 times a day, it costs 10 stamina to do one of the stages, that's 500 stamina a day to get the maximum amount of equipment you can from this, which is quite a lot. Basically, you go into the stage, and this is a fire stage, you can get fire, fire type um, astral spheres and the astral shards beat the stage. And all you have to do. But I seem to be getting from the community that these, these attribute types are not affecting most of the game that much, but they are really important here in this deep quest. As you can see there, for five character team, 300% bonus to attack, which is 200 higher than just for the four characters. You really do want trying to get a full lineup of five of the same attribute type for this. The first stage seemed to be quite easy if you're at max rank. As you go on, it does quickly get more difficult. So I would say, basically, just go in, get as far as you can, and then you can skip ticket the event, like I said, up to 10 times a day. So what do these astral spheres and astral shards do that you can get from this mode? Well, for that, we need to dip down here to the Princess Knight Enhancement. Now, you have three tabs here at the top. This first one here, we can put in these Astral Shards to this to rank it up. Now, at the moment, this is ranking up Taxta, I believe. This is everything that can be done. I have got this here translated. So at the moment, we are ranking up attack power. It doesn't seem to be a way to change this to a different one i don't really i um, don't really know i mean we would want to be doing tp instead or perhaps hit points or maybe maybe something different crit rate perhaps you might want to prioritize that over physical attack but it doesn't seem like we can do that it seems like this is the only place where we can use these um astral spheres so for science this button down here just lets you do it all at once. You can do it individually if you want. So, poof, there we go. It's all gone in. And your Princess Knight rank will go up. Now, I don't know once we've got this to level 500 if it will then go down to the next one or not. But <laughs> if anybody knows, <laughs> let us know in the comments. We then have got here this skill tree, which allows you to use the astral shards now this one here is hit points for everybody and if we go here you can go to level 5 2.4% I just want to see what happens if you put in one if it will then unlock the next um, branch of this skill tree or if you have to get it to level 5 before you can go up no it looks like here you actually do have to get it to level 5 it costs mana this is where mana is going to come in look at that 200 million mana just to get the four levels there so now we've got that boost there to hit points to all characters with the Princess Knight Enhancement. Maybe we could have gone to these ones, I don't know. Because you can pick what this is. These are going to be lots of different ones here. So we've got, because it's red, that's fire physical. Then we've got here, we've got a magical defense for wind. We've got magical attack here for light. We've got hit points for dark. We've got physical attack for light. We've got magical attack for water. And as you go through, they will unlock. I'm not quite sure exactly what the unlock condition is for them. So which route you want to take is up to you. Now we have got, let's see, we've unlocked that one. So that's there. So can we put level one into this? Can we put level one into this? And when it un let's see if it will unlock the next one above it or not. If you need that to be at level five. Um, well, I don't have enough 
of these um, astral shards to go there anymore. But as you can see, we want to work our way through this skill tree, picking which ones we want, um, and um, it's going to give us the stats to every character with that attribute. Now, which ones do we want to be picking? So, if we go into clown battle, we have got the bosses for the next clown battle. We can see here we've got Great Goblin, and he's going to be weak to fire and dark. We have got the Griffin here. Let's go back here. We have got the Wild Griffin, who is going to be weak to water and wind. We have got boss number three, the Sea Drake, who is going to be weak to fire and light. We have got the Werewolf Dude, who is weak to water and dark. And then finally, Torpedo, the Torpedo Shark Dude, who is weak to light on its own. So maybe you want to be working on light characters. Have a look at here and see which bosses you think you might be able to take on in clown battle. And then level up accordingly. Now we do have a few more here. I think that's probably as you go up, it's going to get more and more expensive. But we can get those pieces of equipment. If we go here, it shows you where you can get the spheres. From if we go in here, will it show us where we can get these shards from? Yes, in here, this is where we can get the shards from. So basically, we are grinding out these now to buff up the Princess Knight level. Now, finally, we have got here this Master Sphere, Master Piece uh, skill, Master Skill, it says there at the top. For this you need masterpieces. I think the only place you can get masterpieces in the game at the moment is by summoning Hyori, Astral Hyori from the banner. There will be extra places you can get them in the future, but with this we will be getting boosts to our skills as well. And there is a full skill tree that goes all the way up here. The more master spheres, masterpieces you've got, the higher it's gonna get, the more of these buffs we are going to get. So these masterpieces might be quite valuable for buffing up the team. They seem at the moment to be quite pay to win to get them. So there we go. We will see how this pans out. This attribute thing seems to only really be deep quest and clown battle that it might be really affecting. But now we really need to go and have a look over the teams and what they are, how good they seem, how many characters are in them for each of these attribute types. So there we go. Let me know what you think of the Princess Knight enhancements and this deep quest and i will see you all again for another video thank you very much for watching bye 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 <laughs>